Which compass should I buy for archaeology? Question I get a lot in archaeology is what compass should I get? King Kellerman, I'm going on an archaeological expedition. Which compass to buy? All right, there's, there's a couple different brands out there. You will really find that there's two. There is Sunto and there is Silva. They're really similar. They're both about $50. They both have kind of the fold out mirror thing. This is the overall kind that you want. Now specifically between the two, is there one that I like better? There is the Sunto. I just find that it's a sliver better in quality. Lasts a little longer. It's just, it's just a sliver better in, in all things. I mean, man, if you even, if you guys can even see these, the mirror in the Sunto goes all the way across. The mirror in the Silva is like a little smaller and cheaper. And actually that matters because you might actually have to use this to shave in the morning. So I like the extra quarter inch of mirror in these. And they just seem to hold up a little better overall. If you have a Silva, no big deal. You're going to be fine. Um, the students ask me even brand and model numbers and this kind of stuff. This Sunto is an MC2. Uh, all that really matters is that the degree readings is zero through 360. Sometimes you'll see weird things like, like 90, 90, 90, something like that. You just want a classic 360 degree compass. Um, and that's all that really matters. On top of that, sometimes they'll have um, inches and centimeters on here, this kind of thing. When in doubt, get one that has centimeters on it. It'll just help you out with the map making. That is not a big deal though. What is a big deal besides the mirrors is that they have an adjustable declination. What's that? An adjustable declination, how you know, is first you just look for the world's smallest screw. On the back side, they'll have this tiny screw. And what's, what that's for is there'll be a little, a little screwdriver. That's what this thing is. And you use this to turn a little. And what you can do with that is you can adjust your compass just a little bit so it actually reads true north and not magnetic north. That's key. You need to be able to get a true north reading. So really what that means in reality is you got to drop about 50 bucks. There are ways to cheat it with uh, cheaper compasses and that kind of thing. I don't recommend it. You don't want to be out there in the jungle trying to do some high end math, you know, when the mosquitoes are out and be like, thank God I saved $14. Don't do that. Get one of these. They're nice. They last forever. They literally last decades. I've been super happy with these. Um, they will they will save your life in in an extreme circumstance. I I know they've saved mine. So uh, not only get one of these when when you have them out in the field, wear them. Do not forget them. Do not leave them at home. So, Sunto, uh, $50-ish compass with adjustable declination. It'll get you home.